Welcome back to another Unstoppable Recap and before I get into today's recap, I have to just give you a quick reminder as to the reason why we do the recap. I have a lot of viewers over there, loyal viewers over there on Unstoppable Live who watch the shows night to night to night and when they watch the shows, right, they probably miss a program one night and then didn't even see it because there are so many shows over there on the live channel. Now what the recap channel does, this channel it gives an highlight of the show you probably missed, right? Because a lot of viewers reach out to me and say, Unstoppable boy, you know me, I watch your show for years and I me see a recap a while ago and I've never even saw that one. I never even was that the one that was on the channel. Or a lot of my viewers who are loyal, we come back and say, boy, Unstoppable, you know, I remember that show and watch it again a while ago on the recap channel and boy, it was just as good as listening to it the, the first time, right? So the recap channel keeps viewers up to date, right? Those are May who, who may have missed a show can get to see the recap and then go to watch the actual full show and those of you who wanted a little refresher of some of the shows that passed right so the recap channel is doing its job because guess what this recap channel also draw in a lot of new viewers who came right here and watched the recap and then wanted to be a part of the unstoppable live family so them go subscribe to the live channel as well with that out of the way, hopefully you understand why we drop the recaps. Now, with that said, we have another recap for you today and we're going to keep them coming. Make we jump in and take a listen to today's recap. My life journey is a very sad one. Um, it started like this. My mom had me when she was very young. So, she was living with my aunt at the time. My dad wasn't in the picture. My dad didn't know about me. So my mom here, my aunt planning to take me away from her. My aunt didn't have any child, not any children, any child nowhere. So she was planning to take me away. So my mom didn't want to give me up. My family has money and everything. So they are very, very strict. They cannot go on the street for nothing to play with friends, nobody. So my mom was there in the house with cousins and stuff like that. So when I was two years old, I told my mom run away with me to the Kingston area. I'm from Mandeville, Jamaica. And my mom run away with me to the Kingston. Don't know anybody as a young child with a young baby in her hand. So she meet a, she meet a man while going. She go home with the man. She and that man... I guess in love, fall in love, so she, me and her and that man went by his family. At two year old, I was very vigilant and know what's going on. So I can remember, as far as I can remember, that my mom got pregnant with my brother. Then the man just disappeared one day going to work. Until to the blessed day, we cannot find that man. My brother comes, so my brother, me and my bro brother with my mom, living with his sister, that's where ill treatment starts with us. But she didn't give my mom no food to give to us to eat. I can remember she gave, uh, my, my brother auntie gave my mom a little thermos cup of tea for all of us. And it was bad, so she end up have to find somebody else and move on with that person. That's the biggest mistake she ever made because that person end up to be a drunkard. He drinks a lot. He have a very good job, but he, he, he work at Water Commission. But I'm telling you, when he get his pay, he go all in the wrong bar. So my mom stayed with him. Didn't, have, didn't know anybody in Kingston. No family back in Kingston at the time. So... My mom stayed with him, then she got pregnant with a third one and we've been there living in the one bedroom house, very, very hard. We've been sleeping on the floor, the one bed is there. Every day my mom and my, and my stepfather coming in, arguing, fighting. It was just a hot mess growing up in that life of living. Then we have to, he work at water commission and we have to carry water on our head. In our hand, we have to go to the fall to wash our clothes or to bring water from there. People start to sit and say, oh, we can give them some water. 
and we used to we have two places that we go catch water from one is a little bit nearer that man this is soul he died now he's the one that helped us out a very lot but the other house that we can get water from that man i tell you for my sister i don't know about my sister but for myself it wasn't going down for me because my mom because she didn't get the help with us that she needed and she couldn't turn back to her family because she lived there with me they didn't give her any money then they, they wasn't giving her no help with us so a matter of fact they not even know we are unheard she was with with me because they never know that she have other kids also so this particular man said to my mom i could help i could give you water and i could give you stuff when i have it like food provision and stuff like that that you could help out with the kids my mother used to go around do my mama is a very hard working mom but she was so angry because she's not getting the help so this particular person that wanted to give us help he didn't give us help genuine help from his heart because in the long run he started to molest me and he used my mom angriness to take it and bash me because i'm telling you my mom when we were growing up my mom was very angry i don't know let me tell you she angry with me she didn't angry with my brother and my other sister no but with me like nothing there's nothing good i could do for her and that she could say okay let me overlook it because uh she made a mistake or whatever but because of that i couldn't talk to my mom about nothing because my mom my mom leaked first ask question later or she leaked first and ask no question at all until maybe somebody see her and they would and say such and such you know say um this is what happened to a great rate i may hear say you you beat the data so bad you're not even after the question that's why my mom is break down and cry and apologize and stuff like that but this man started to have sex with me at a very young tender age because i said i leave the manival era when i was two years old my brother come like a year after me so growing up it was i was young i wasn't 12 years old yet when all of this started so when that man started to have sex with me i tell you it was the biggest thing i ever see in my life i never know human being could have something that big but he gave it to me one time my mom almost catch us if it's so you say he wasn't doing it and stuff like that people start to talk about it it was so disgraceful and stuff like that so my mom i supposed to do the, the exam then i didn't do the um what do you call it the common entrance um for the great sticks and i do it one time but i fail it but how can i concentrate when all of these things going on, I have to think about how to carry the water, how to look the hood. I have to source out the water before night come because I don't want to go to that particular house. And if the other gentleman don't turn on his pipe, if his water bill is too high, we have to go to the other predator house to catch the water. So it was very hard for me to concentrate. So. When I catch um, 11 years old, I do the, 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 the great six, I didn't pass it. So that's when no, like somebody saw my mom in the Kingston and say, oh, I don't know that such and such a family died though, so um, you're not going down for the funeral. So my mom picked up the phone and called and they said, yes, yeah, such and such is buried today. Where are you at? And she said, I'm at work, I'm in Kingston. And I said, your grandmother been asking for you, you need to come home. Because she didn't, my mom didn't go with my mom, with her mom neither. You know, because that's a whole different part of life. So my, my great-great-grandmother is the one that grew her. So when somebody, when she called, she said, you know that your grandmother wants to see you, you need to come home, you need to come home. So she leave us with a nice lady back in town run down for the weekend and see them so let them make it up back and i say okay 
Oh, uh, we need back, we need our daughter to come back home. That is me. We need her to come back home. So you're gonna send her back to us. So my mom come and she tell us, and I was so happy. And I said I was so happy, 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 happy to come down to see, come be with my aunt and my cousin them. Eventually, we come down. Almost twelve years old because as I get the second chance to do the exam and I hit the paper so going so that time I'll be 12 years old now and I hit the paper I didn't want to do the exam because I couldn't focus so I said my mom said I cannot be bothered with you so I'm gonna send you to give your aunt and stuff like that and she bring me down that was the biggest mistake she ever made I don't know which one of the life is better if is the one that is molesting me with his huge thing or she to send me down here for a better life because they have already say a jump out a frying pan jump in a fire but the jump out a frying pan jump straight in a hell so me come down everything good my mom go back up she start to work she work even harder than what she used to do and send the money come she bring money like like every two months, I will see my mom with big bags of grocery and she always has sent money. She always make money come down, but that money will come down, it goes somewhere else. So it been going on, going on, going on. So they start to ill treat me, beat me. I have to do everything in the house. Those time back is them all time house, you know that you have a whole lot of red floor. Red and yellow floor, you have to use two different color polish to polish and you have to wipe polish and shine and it's only me one at a young age, 12 going to 13. Living there with my aunt and my cousin, my cousin was older than me, some months older than me and stuff, he was older than me and stuff like that and then now we start to inquire about my father, they, keep, they used to hide stuff from me about my father never know why and stuff like that so till i run away i picked up myself i clean the house my cousin cook and she eat and she never offer me any and i finish cleaning the house ready to go to school and i just i just i just look up and i said i need to go i need to leave from this place i don't know where i'm going but i'm going to go that around 13, 11, 12, 13, right there. Me just pick up myself and me just go. So my mother then call my mother the same day when me run away. Me run. One look man by out for one look kind of did a look me. And me always a game the run around, but me run away from me yard now. So me say, boy, I need refuge. Me need place to sleep before night come. So me go out there. So me go see one lady. Me never know the woman. And me go ask the lady, say, John from the boat and say no who are you me say I'm just a friend so me say who are you and say I'm the wife and me say oh and that look me that I tell me to be nobody mean enough wife and that is that it is really important and stuff like that me never really know nothing about them there's something there so me say in that look me say I want money me come for the woman fling a coconut off of me and God save me life but the coconut never hit me so me just jump in on one taxi and me go straight to Mandeville. My family, them everybody know my family because they have money, so everybody know my family like that. So we use my family name to get into Mandeville town. Getting into Mandeville town now, I was there walking up on the asking anybody if they don't want nobody to work. All of us still don't know nothing about my father. No, going on. At this point, you were, you, meet were, up and you were how old at this point? This about about thirteen, cause it never take me no long time from when my mother bring me down to stay with my auntie. We have to cut. So you say you run, so, you run away from home at thirteen. From from thirteen, cause me can remember they already sent me into a nearby school. And I used to walk to school. It's a little distant, but they never had to give me taxi fare, so I never to walk to school. So it's um so I know me do grade seven at the school because I'm supposed to do grade six, me never do grade six. So then take me and then put me in a grade 
seven because my report I'm gonna get it wasn't bad. I'm a very brilliant um child. It wasn't bad. So me, me know me go a grade seven. I me enter a math competition in grade seven and me come third. And basically that was it. So when you run away, when you I run away at that age, where were you though? Where were you staying? Where were you sleeping? Well, me run away when me run away. Me go into the Mandeville town of start to find. I ask people if they don't want nobody to work. Before the day done, me don't know how my mother reached from town come down so fast. So me they, me hide in a abandoned building because you know you just run away from your police or huh? everybody are gonna look for you. So me hide in a abandoned building. And when me look, me see my mother across the road. But knowing my mother, you me, me could have. Me could have got to my mother and say, Mama, this is what happened and stuff like that. So me see her crying and I walk up and down and I show a picture of me and me could have got to her. So me met them kill it until me know they finish. They know me book up on one man, one rasta man. And they know me and him are gone, me and him are gone, me and him are gone. Until me could have come out. When he left and gone to work, me have to hide in the house because me could have come out because I'm underage. So me and him are gone, 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 so till. In care me go left me a one place in a balaclava. Me me they down there for about a couple of weeks and then now the lady said to me say you look the mother the, the, the mother film look look for me you look young in your face and I'm mean, not want a police come at me here you know so you have to cut. So in care me come a Mandeville and give me taxi fare and left me a Mandeville so me have to walk back the street now and say me can find a body. But I can get a job. Eventually, I book up one man in the selling in a Mandeville. Him do, him do um, not selling in a Mandeville. So I said to him, you don't know nobody, you don't know nobody, we want nobody who can do a living job for them. He said, yeah, man, I know somebody, man. But let me tell you, you go wait for me until I go home in the evening. Me happy now, come here and say, yes, me get something for the now, so they can't find me if you can't go put me back in the, in, in the slavery. Mm. The man keep me for the whole entire weekend, use me, have sex, everything. The Monday morning now, he passed me on to his other brother. After I'm done with me in the weekend, he passed me on to the other brother. But the mother, they live at the house. With the other brother. So eventually, though, I start to stick on to the mother. And I start to help out the mother now. Try to make myself useful that they don't pass me on to nobody else. Hold on. When you say because pass your with one the, When you say pass your aunt to the other brother, you mean him, him, him literally give you to him other brother for have sex with? Yes. Yes, he passed me after he finished me for the weekend. He passed me into his other brother, his younger brother. And the younger brother, the, 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 the lady, me call her mama, she's old and her husband old. So I start to stick with, him, with the mama now and start to help me well and be in service to the younger brother. So, so the mother. So them keep on her. Sorry for cut you, but so the mother didn't know your age she wasn't concerned with this young looking girl in our house them say okay let me tell me tell them me give their wrong name but me give them a last name but my first name i change my first name and give them wrong name so she said no man you look young man you don't look like somebody 18. me say yes me 18 so i start so before me go to know mechanical eight mechanical eight um from that time to that time, um, which year 19, how much more the band? So me always keep that in my head. I say, yeah, man, me, 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 and such a, my name is such and such, and my band, that and that and that, and whatever. Um, me, me live at such and such place, and whatever, whatever. If anything, you can look me up, and whatever. But me know, say, me know, say, them all and never really go to all in the hustle. So the only thing me change is my first name. Mm -hmm. Did they with the old people them now? People keep on coming and say, Mama, Mama, this 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 person look young. So I say, all right, my body is too small and my face is too small. So you know me gonna know, me gonna make sure say anything me see, me gonna eat and get fat. Cause then say fat people not really too age. So me start to eat and me start to put on the weight and me start to put on the weight. Then my face will start to change. 
So nobody can tell me say I look young now. So me put on the weight and me did it with mama. Still sleeping with the guy. Me did it for about two years. Me did it for about two years. So that uh, 13, 14, 15. So I'm 15 now. My people them. Um, me go and money visit. Me have a, me know when me know how them shop. Cause me study them. Me know how them shop. Then they have a doctor go in the town in the evening. So me go in the morning. So me go in the evening. Cause my auntie not like the hustle and the bustle. So me go in the me go in the evening. So when me go in the evening now, me, me is a person love planting. I love ripe planting. So I see me one man ball out planting, planting. So I run across the road now if you go buy the planting now. Then me hear my cousin say, my cousin ball out my name. And she say, if you move, me call the police because she knows I'm afraid of she knows I'm afraid of cops. Me and him no friend. So she said, if you move, me call the police. Me don't know nothing more. When me wake up back, when me wake up back, me realize that I'm dead on the ground. I me see one whole heap of them round me. And then tell her, so no, let her go, you know, because she fast pan her foot, you know, if you let her go, me, me tell her, you can't catch her back. And she said, see the police, say, me, the only thing me I say is darkness. I couldn't see nothing because I black out. I never know if the police was there, yes or no, but eventually she catch me. And some people talk to me and say, you're young, you cannot be on the street like this. Come go home. So... All right. She so, came home, go give me auntie. So I have a question for you. Um, uh, cause you say you did there at the people them yard for two whole years at thirteen. So from thirteen, you did it for two years. So that means you did it until you are fifteen. I want to know if right. your family never did a look for you. Nobody was trying to find you within that time frame. I don't know. I don't know because I didn't see any missing picture on the TV. When seven o'clock news come, I was scared for them to even watch the news because I didn't want my people to come up on the TV. Then I have to get sent back to them. So I didn't know they was looking for me. But mm -hmm. all I know, I was stayed out and my cousin bring me home and I was there. The treatment was good for a little bit of time and then they sent me back to school and register me back in the same school that I was before. And I reached to grade nine. Going on fine, going on fine. I said, I need to get an education now because what I've been through from young age coming up, I, this is this cannot be my life. Then I start to seek about my father. Nobody want to tell me about my father. I said, okay, and I, I, I need to go down in my brain box and come up with something that I put them to find out about my father because I don't know why. They keep hiding my father from the way he tell my mention about him. I need my father. I, I keep using other people that for my own dad. Mm -hmm. And I said, I need to know my own dad. So I go in my brain back and I find something and I wrap it on my aunt. And then you know, she started to show me pictures and stuff like that. And get the name and stuff like that. And I hear that he was married. I said, okay, fine. I said, okay. Social media coming now. I know they have something named Facebook now, so I used to take, I uh, use my cousin's phone and put it in until now. The people who me used to stay with, when me leave from the house, when me leave from the house, I never come in. Them start to come and look for me now and use the last name when me give them and the first name to try and find me. But they could have find me with the first name, so they use the last name and then. Trap me, trap me, trap me, trap me, and find me. As I said, we give them the right last name, but my first name, they change it. So I'm trap me, and then they come find me. And then after them come find me now, we get to understand that we are some far long distant cousin, some far long distant grand aunt, and stuff like that. And I'm looking at myself and say, Boy, my family, me, 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 and me deal with two of my family, them right there. Was, oh my God, it was so messed up for me. And so, but they, they are the one that helped me even after my, my cousin take me back to my aunt. That gentleman is the one that whenever time he get a look of work to do, he make sure I get a look of money to go to school. I was in my aunt outside as a young girl coming back 
off the street or wherever I was coming from, I have to pay a light bill and I have to pay a phone bill. When my cousin used a light bill, when my cousin used a phone bill and she denied those numbers, then put the blame for me, say, it's me and he's just a call man and they want their money. So whenever time I get the money from that particular person, I have to just give it to my aunt. My aunt make one uniform gift to me, one uniform, one blouse, and I have to wash it every easy when I come home from school because she didn't make anything to me now because she's not the one sending me to school now. I got the person that I was living for for two years sent me to school. So going to school now, so I have to wake up like 12, 1 o'clock in the night now, put my uniform on the floor and to press it, open the door for the, 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 the iron scent to go outside because if you see me use the light, my light bill is going to go up at the end of the month and i cannot bring up my light bill at the end of the month because i'm getting like fifteen hundred dollars sometimes i get like a thousand dollars but sometimes i get like two but stick up in for a minute stick up in for a minute because i want to know all right so you because I, I i'm just trying to get an understanding of this you've been missing for two years 13 mm -hmm. you've been missing for two years the entire time that you were there living at the house where you your run were to with the old people them and the, the, the brother. So the entire time for the two years the brother was having sex with you throughout the throughout that time frame? Yes. Man in man in no nine twice on Sunday, three times per night and then all whenever time ma ma uh any time master will up in here, that's that's when everything will yes. Okay. Okay, so your cousin spot you upon the road now. You go back home to your family. They weren't concerned about where you were for two years. When you got home, what, what was their concerns? What did they say to you when you got home after being missing for two years? They, they were trying to find out where I was and stuff like that. So I tell them that I was I was living at the place that um I give them the name of the place and stuff like that. And then my, my aunt, the expression on her face, so like somebody who to know and stuff like that. So but I don't know. Um all my aunt, my cousin, everybody come down on me you now. So I have to give out the information of where I was at the time and stuff like that. Um then I said they started to put two and two together. It never took the other the other side of people that I was being with for two years. It never took them a day to come and find me. That was a Saturday and the Sunday they appear at my aunt's house. They appear at my aunt's house and they start they introduce themselves and they start to talk to them and then they find out so we are all family. We are all family. Then as I said, the uncle still the, the uncle still give me money to go um f to school and stuff like that and I still have to pay a light bill out of it, I have to pay a phone bill for something that I'm not using and I use the light just to press one uniform come I, I used to wear green and my uniform dirty so I have to keep it clean. I like myself I like to keep myself clean. So going there it wasn't um the life the life wasn't like it's supposed to be again so that time growing up then we start to say you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna commit suicide right about now because there's no life for me right about mm -mm, now no man mm -mm. so coming back there going to school i have to find my way out still i say you know what i'm gonna come in suicide so we have a place up on top where we can go there's a happy trip there and I said I'm gonna hang myself and then my cousin passed out here and he go report me and stuff like that. But good thing to find out who is my dad, where my dad is and stuff like that. I find a social media with his wife and contact the wife. Because I have no contact with the only thing I have is his name and get to understand my dad and my my, my dad and my mom, their co first cousin. So my family sweep that under the rug. Never want me to know about that part of life because that is wrong and stuff like that. So he didn't know about me. He grew up now. They, he grew up now. She grew up now. Have their own different life and stuff like that. So when we contact the wife now and try to put it across, that's when hell even broke loose more because 
my right. art before, them knows before you get to, to that hell right before you get to that hell you mentioned that your cousin used to sexually molest you before you run away too right yes so when you I've when you went back no. home when you went back home after yeah, when we away, went back home uh-huh yeah when we went back home yeah when we went back home then no me have my cousin now start to have sex with me i said okay when i have sex with him he sealed me from his mother so i said okay i didn't get it from wait hold on you say when, when you have so. sex with him he protect you from his mother yes because his mother because it is two sisters them my cousin mother that that we have sex with and the other sister so there's two sisters so three, three mother mm. is the more beauty one she look for no reason at all there's nothing there's nothing there where she no look for so he start to put argument to me and me accept it because basically I thought more me used to know so and I really not know where I hide from me again. Me know it now. You know, me use like the first one, but I the many the many that I take. But when I give it to him and he will come from work and he come from work and he mother face me look at a certain way and he say, I hope I know so come for um yeah, whatever, you know, you must stop it and uh, whatever, whatever and he and he used to the, 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 the abuse cut down. The abuse cut way down, so way down, way down. Me, so you're no telling me did. that that to feel safe, you willingly had sex with your cousin just to feel safe in the house? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes. Mm. You're not willingly cut the workload. You used to argue. It's a little it's just unfair to see once you stand up and wash plate um, at night when everybody in our house either they know them or they bed or they might watch TV and they could never watch TV I mean, when they have to turn up and peep to peep to peep to you to watch TV and uh, sit uh, uh, I used to tea for my, 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 my grandmother my, my great great grandmother before she died I used to tea for her chicken out her play because me have to peel a whole bunch of banana Fifth, fifth, help make up the food in the pot and the whole bunch of banana come in on my plate. So me used to have a tea for me used to have a tea for food and so from the kitchen, mm. from the pot, my granny plate. Me used to have, me used to have a tea for the juice out of the fridge. Cause me never like get in there, even though my mother send the money come down. And my mother carry food and my mother make sure my when they come make care, when my mother come down then now give me the chance to go talk to my mother. Eh? They are everywhere my mother turn and my mother want to talk to me, they eat up behind her and they never tap each up behind her until she left her and she go away. So when we run out, she realized that boy it wasn't okay and stuff like that. So for me for my safety in the house was to to to, to sleep in my cousin and the day when time him he find a woman and if any woman and then no me, me start to get reversed again because me say boy there's no sex again because I guess so the treatment ever start again until now me find my father and then no my father start to play a part in my life and then no um that around 17 that I when I was 17 now me get for no uh me not get for knowing me never know him and we talk on the phone and he apologized and said he never knew about me and if he didn't know about me would I be with him here with his wife and right there right there and the whole thing start and then he start to send money come give me to introduce to send money to my mother come give me and something and then now me used to get from my feet and that they tell my mother now move come back down now because the lady who grew up the great the man who grew up I said look here you need to come home, you need to come home, this is your band and you need to come home, leave town and come down. So eventually the sister, the auntie them couldn't object and said anything. So she take all of the kids that she have and she come down back to Manchester. So so now she know what's going on at the house and stuff like that. And so, when we take 17 year old, we have to cut again. But me do it now one time, because even when my mother was there, it, it, my cousin left the house now to tell you, I can't, there's nothing, I can't, 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 I
your granny dead you know, your granny dead you know, so you know, so you, you know, Bill and saying, I'm the, uh, so look at my granny, tell me to come home, so I come home, so you need that your turn to do nothing. Um, before my grandmother died, my grandmother tell him, say, my grandmother tell him, say, if you don't treat this girl better than how you're going to treat her, anytime I close my thing up here. So she went, when, when we hear that now, so me tell her friend, what well, that means, so okay, then she'll come back for you, that means, say, when she, that means, so when she did, she'll come back for you, so that means you're going to go to. She said like that. So you mentioned, you mentioned that you mentioned that you 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 started to have suicidal thoughts. So after that one time, you you made an attempt. You never tried again, right? Now there you have it, family. We are at the end of this recap, but obviously the story did not end there. If you want to take a listen to the rest of what was shared, click the link in the description. It will take you on over to Unstoppable Live, where you can continue listening to everything that was shared but when you go over there remember to hit that subscribe button and also turn on all notifications so once we go live mondays wednesdays and fridays you will be there to partake call in and give your take on whatever topics we're having at the time if you are watching on facebook we are wait upon hit the follow button and if you are watching right us up on the recap channel hit that subscribe button as well watch ya until the next unstoppable recap stay strong stay motivated but most of all remain unstoppable Unstoppable.